there's one fraction of an inch yep. where you can see like the grass and it falls wiggles out a little bit. And we lose a challenge and you know, he didn't put me back in that, that and, then his, and then his and then his family took the jerseys I off. Be cut. And then but my last game of my rookie year we actually had to do the makeup game because that was 2011. Yep, yep. I mean, I mean, not 2001. Yep. 2001, and that was the makeup game. We played the Bears, and, and you know, Bears were really, really good that oh, year. Oh yeah, they were. So, so, but yeah, it was surreal. That that had to be the moment for me. Nice. Yeah, after he fumbled, though, his family took the jerseys off, and we're like, <laughs> they were like, "Are y'all his family?" Nope, no, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. <laughs> nah, they were okay. They were okay when they got money. Exactly. They were like, hey, we good. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, now we're going to kind of, we, we kind of got through all that and everything. Now we're just going to uh, get your thoughts on uh, what do you think about the Jaguars right now since this is up mine and your alley. Cortez probably going to sit this one out, <laughs> even though he's been to a lot of Jaguar games. But uh, it, me and you can talk about the uh, Jaguars. Uh, how do you think of the moves they made so far and uh, – of uh, what they done in the off season, and you think uh, what do you think kind of the record's going to be this year? I mean, first of all, it, it, it's been a storybook uh, beginning so far, and we talked about the stadium and all the improvements and how Mr. Khan has done such an awesome job, and everyone in the organization is doing a great job. But the the team that they've built this year is the first time in a long time being in a city where you're like. They should be able to not only to compete with every team they go out and play against, but they should be able to win a lot of ball games. Mm-hmm. And you just feel that way. And yes, they yes they are young, but offensively, when you break it down, it all it's all going to depend on how Blake Bortles plays this year mm-hmm. and how his maturation and how he develops into not just a pretty good quarterback. And if he can turn into somewhere near top five, ten type, he he doesn't have to be. You know, Brady. He yeah. doesn't have to be that guy this year, but if he can get in the top 10 of quarterbacks and being consistent and ter- take, uh, taking care of the football and not making turnovers, with the weapons he has around him for the first time, I just believe the sky's the limit. They, they have receivers. They got young receivers. They got, they got old, uh, old receivers. That, uh, that, uh, we call these Robinson. Those guys old now. <laughs> They've been in the league for three, three years. years. They're old. Yeah. You, know, but you, got, you got guys all over. You got running back TJ Yeldon. You're acquired um, Chris Ivory. Uh, the line is the line is still it still has to be proven. Uh, you, you hope Joku can rapidly improve this year and get. He, he doesn't have to play at a Pro Bowl level. You just need him to be a consistent starter who's not being a turnstile. And he's playing a lot of uh, guard right now in uh, yeah. in training camp. They got right. Be- yeah, they got Beecham on the outside and tackle, and they got uh, Jokos doing a lot of work at guard. Okay, yeah, which, yeah. Which, which, which will probably be good for him. Yep. It'll, it'll, it'll probably, if he, can, if he can grab a hold of that, and he'll play eight, nine more years at yep. guard and, you know, make good, you know, make even more for himself. But the, the, defensively there, I, I won't use the word loaded, but they were so fortunate to be able to get a first round pick in Jalen Ramsey and then get a first round pick Picking in Miles out, Jack yeah. and get another first round pick in Dante Fowler all in the same year. And, and, and I know we Dante Fowler was here last year, he was hurt injured, but you know, he's the rookie this year. This is gonna be his first year. And it's like you've had three first round draft picks yeah. and you got Jackson and you got Princeton Mukamura and you got you know, uh, all the other Gibson. Gibson's got the yeah. safety from um, from Cleveland. Yeah, Gibson. Yeah. Gibson, and, and I've been hearing rave reviews about him. Yeah, and they said he's been – I've watched him a few times, and he's been a ball hawk. Yeah. They finally got that guy that can cover one side and go all the way over to the other. Yes, and, that, and that's what you need. And, listen, they're not they're not a lot of whole holes. They got speed and, and, and they got strength. Now it's going to be able to make winning plays when they need them and, yeah. and not get down – early in games, but I, my prediction, we talked about predictions, I I seriously think that they should go 10-6 this year. Yes, that's that's what I've been saying the whole time. I was going around that that 9 and that nine and eight, uh, nine and 7 mark, 10-6, and six, there for a little bit. I said they should definitely push for the division with how, yes. with how weak the division is, especially at the quarterback spot. You got 
one guy coming off of injury and luck, and then you got uh, and then you got Brock Osweiler, who really to me is still unproven. We really have we really have. It's funny now, and you got Marcus Mariota, and you can look at it and go, well, the Jaguars may have the best, the most solid, stable quarterback in the whole division right now in Bortles. But he definitely does need to calm down on those on those pick sixes. Yes, and turn he does. Up, and turn over. There's some times where I don't mind him being a gunslinger, but damn it, man, don't throw that out route and watch it come back the other way every single time. It, uh. Yep, 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 yep. It's the I, same I, I, out route every single time, and he throws it every single time, and they bring it right back. And I'm like, it's the same throw. Stop throwing it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, if he can work on that and just taking care of the football, you know, he, w- w- the, the Jags should be able to win. Now, that schedule is brutal. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's brutal, but they they have one of the best on roster. On paper, they have one of the best rosters in the NFL right now, in my opinion. So yeah, the def- they should be able to win some games this year. The defensive side of the ball alone, I I sit there and watch, and we're actually there. What they were talking about, they're going to actually have to cut a lot of good defensive linemen. Yep, yep. To make room for all these guys. Sheldon Day has been looking phenomenal. phenomenal. He's, he's, he's looked crazy at how good Sheldon Day has looked. And we got him where? Like in the fifth round? Yep. And and, and, and Senderic is coming back from his injury. And you still got guys that have been around here forever that are in jeopardy of losing a spot because they're that deep at the defensive line. Yes, linebacker was still all thin. All yeah. yeah, linebacker was still thin, but... Defensive line, gee, hold the door. You've got it, – it, it, it's crazy at the amount yeah. of talent they got on that defensive line. <laughs> yeah, and that's going to be a big spot because if the defensive line is playing the way we hope they will and we expect them to, that's going to take a lot of pressure off those linebackers and that secondary, and that's going to allow them to make plays. That, that's what a key – key to the defense is going to be the defensive line. Yeah, and, they, and they, they're looking good so far. And uh, Yannick Ngakwe – is he he's he's fast. Somebody was like, he can't stop the run. We don't need him to stop the run. <laughs> we got four thousand other people that are going to be on the field when it's time to run the ball. His yes. job is to get that guy. Yes. I yes, don't care. Yes. I don't care if he's out. He don't need to be out there for running plays. Just go get that guy. That's yep. all I want him yep. to do. <laughs> yeah. But he's been he's he's had flashes and he made. He went by Jokel so fast. Jokel was looked like he was standing still, and he was already around him. Which most of the time, Jokel does look like he's standing still. I'm not being mean. I'm just being honest. <laughs> it is what it is. It is, it is, it is, it is. It, exactly. He looks like most of the time he looks like a human turnstile. And I'm just being honest. He needs it. And maybe, hopefully, the move if he does play guard, hopefully that move to guard does him a lot of well. Yeah, hopefully it makes the team better. Yeah. Definitely. All right, I'm going to transition to one last question here because we're pushing out an hour. I was going to ask some other content, but, you know, we're just going to do this little one fun topic here. So uh, the Vikings uh, have a Prince tribute in their summer playbook. At a training camp, they had Teddy Bridgewater doing an uh, a audible saying, yelling, purple rain, purple rain. That means they handed the ball off. <laughs> so um, my question to you there, Mr. Ross, name some of your favorite Prince songs. Um, rest in peace, Prince. And I want to get some of your opinion there since uh, this this is fitting. I thought this would be a good question to end it on. Oh, man. Well, got to be Raspberry Beret. <laughs> it's got to be one of them. Yeah. When Doves Cry. That's a good track. Uh, when Doves Cry, but my, my – um, oh, man, what's the one song? Uh, the one where he talks about you don't have to watch Dynasty. Uh, you don't have to be his, rich his to be my. Oh, oh, that one. Yeah, that's the one. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that, that's, yeah, that's the one. Oh, kiss, 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 yeah, kiss. kiss. That, that, that's the one. That's the one where he hits the different pitches, and he's already ran to like the he has the perm and the little, <laughs> the little, <laughs> little <laughs> capri pants, type bubble pants, and the boots, and you know he's dancing and he's singing. But you know that's that moment where yeah, kiss yeah. has to be the one where he just gets into it, and you know that that probably is my favorite game. <laughs> Did you hear they actually said that story is exactly true. There was somebody else that came to verify that story is exactly true, and that is the, exactly the way it happened. They oh, even wow. gave them pancakes afterwards. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I love that skit there. And then he ended up making a song 
after that skit called Burpees Can't Wait, and they used the Dave Chappelle as the uh, single cover holding the plate of pancakes. It's <laughs> so actually a pretty good song. Um, what, what are some of your favorite Prince songs? Of course, Sexy Mother Ever. <laughs> that, that, was, that, was, that was one of my favorite ones. Uh, uh, no one's going to remember this one but the Bat Dance. From, uh, dance, from the first, movie. from the first Batman movie, phenomenal. Yes. Loved yes. it, loved it, loved it. Uh, Diamonds and pearls. Diamonds loved and pearls, pearls, yes. And you already no said a hey, uh, cream, of course, cream. Yes. Even though I had no clue what it meant back then. <laughs> <laughs> back then, I had no clue what it meant. But that 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 song was great, and uh, like, let's go crazy. Yeah. Although you got the look. Mm-hmm. She oh, wow. got the look. Yeah, I. I he had so many that were, of course, 1999. That was done in 1983. <laughs> wow! It, it was. It, he had so many good songs, and, and 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 we we they said all the ones that they found were just him covering other songs. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I said I would like to hear some of his covers from some of these other songs. They're probably a lot better. Oh yeah, <laughs> probably. Yeah, I got a. I got to go with the 1999 track. Um, the guitar, that one is pretty good. One where he like, baby, I love you, but I love my guitar more. That's 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 the track I like. That. Um, of then, course, Party Man from Batman too. Yes. That one was a good one. And then I'm I'm sorry, I'm I'm just a big fan of the the Purple Rain movie, and I love when he sang the song and Purple the girls coming Rain. out, and I just I love that. And then he, when he did it for the Super Bowl too, ah. Uh, that's in goosebumps down my spine. So, Purple um, rain. Prince, I know you're jumping out in heaven and, and uh, rest in peace. And I'm pretty sure you'll be hearing Teddy, Teddy Bridgewater audibly in Purple Rain all over the place. Purple Rain. <laughs> Which, like Kevin said, it's probably an Adrian Peterson play. Hand <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <Hand> it off. <laughs> Adrian Peterson play. Hand so. it off. Although they did get uh, Laquan Treadwell, uh, Treadwell from. Old Miss, so yeah. they got they got some wide receivers and Stephon Diggs. So yeah, they got, Steph- they got some yep. wide receivers up there. They'll be able to throw the ball to. Thought- but Teddy, I, I'm not sold on Teddy yet. No. That's just me. They got a good defense and they got Adrian Peterson. That's, that's just me. But we'll get to see him. Yeah, and Coach will be at the game. I will be. I'll be in the terrace. We enjoying myself. In the terrace, you can't invite people. You know, you, they're just saying. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> Will do. <laughs> <laughs> Just say, that's the one place I haven't sat yet. I always tell people that's like if you've seen the Titanic when they're underneath and how it's kind of like crazy and then you go yeah. upstairs and, <laughs> and they're eating it. It's, <laughs> it's, it's kind of like the butt zone is downstairs and the terrace is it's kind of like in the Titanic. He said, he said the butt zone is a boiler room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, that is great, oh, man. Well, um, Coach, we, it has been a pleasure having you on. We definitely have to do this again, and uh, we'll, we'll we'll have you on at any time. Anytime you want to come on, just give us a shout out or let me know on Twitter, and we'll we'll have you on anytime you want to come on. This this was fun. My pleasure, definitely, and I enjoyed it, you guys. I can't wait to get back on. Definitely stay tuned. All right, well, make sure y'all stay tuned for me and Kevin throughout the week. Uh, I know, like you said, this is where we kind of got on early with the week, but we had a special occasion, a special judge joining us. Hey, so. this is football season, too, so we're going to have two a week. Yeah. So, so it's, like it's, it or not. It's going to pick <laughs> up. So uh, you can follow the podcast page and go to at Boss Not Court. Uh, you can find me at In The Mind of CP. I'm at Kevin C 2415 Coach Ross, you got a Twitter? Yes, Michael Ross. <laughs> awesome. So you can get him there and, and uh, you know, comment on him and join the show. It's, like I said, a pleasure to have him. If you want to get the podcast content elsewhere, you go to our Podomatic page. Go to inthemindcp.podomatic.com. Uh, we're also on iTunes, TuneIn Radio, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, Spreaker, Windows, Google Play, and many other sites as well that we have the podcast on. So nonetheless, like I said, it was a pleasure to have Mr. Ross on. Um, but this is, uh, we're going to go ahead and close it out here. And speaking for Kevin Carter. Um, this is Cortez Paul. Once again, we'd like to thank Mr. Ross coming on the show. And uh, we'll have you, ladies and gentlemen, have a wonderful evening. Take care. Thank you for listening to the Balls Not Court podcast.